Hello. It's uh, it's raining, the stars have aligned, it's time for me to make one of what I like to call the George Burroughs Classics. Hey Georgia, we've been waiting a long time for what you like to call the George Burroughs Classics, even though we didn't know that the George Burroughs Classics was a thing. There's three tenants to the George Burroughs Classics. Num number one, numero uno. Rule num numero uno. Address Anna, that's, that's rule number one of the Georgia Burroughs classics. Rule number two of the Georgia Burroughs classics, it's about nothing. You know that Seinfeld episode where they pitch uh, the series that's about, they're like, it's a show about nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. That, I've never seen Seinfeld, it's just a famous quote from Seinfeld. It's a show about nothing but I make it. Watch that Seinfeld clip again, but I'll superimpose with my pro editing skill. Vlog. <laughs> Vlog. Vlog. There we go. Okay, right. Rule number one. Always address Anna. Rule number two. It's about nothing. Rule number three. Um, uh, oh yeah, that's rule number three. I randomly get Facebook messages. It's not my fault. It's your fault, Harry. Anna is a glory girl. She was just talking to me. You were just talking to me, Anna, about um, bloody, bloody keyboards. That's what I'm doing. That's why. That's why I'm making it George Burroughs classic because I spilled Pepsi on the keyboard. Um, so I've got this towel filled. With, so like I've taken a I've taken all the keys off my keyboard, and I've decided that um, so I've got all my keys in this little towel here, um, and a, there we go, it's like a maraca, we can make a song out of that, if only I had an inkling of talent, so um, I'm just going to sit here and talk to you, because I was sitting here and I was watching YouTube, and I was sitting here and I was like, just going really, going really in on these, this keyboard polishing thing. And I thought, man, this looks. I was just sitting here and I was like, mm, blah, 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 blah. I was like, this is really weird. This is, this is prime video opportunity. So this isn't really about nothing. See, that's the that's the trick to a George Burroughs classic experience. You think it's about nothing. Hold on, I just really have the urge to do this. Oh shit! Look at it's my face. Oh, oh wait, no, let's bring it closer. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's the, pff, what was that? Plan is, sit here and talk to you about the Georgia Burroughs classics while I, um, while I polish my keyboard. Oh yeah, also, fourth tenant of the Georgia Burroughs classic, because this is, this is the unwritten rule. <laughs> the unwritten rule to George Burroughs classics is that, um, it has to have, like, a weird title, like, Chunky Glyphs and Clappy Graphs, or open to my channel, my 66 subscribers. Chunky Glyphs and Clappy Graphs, or Kit Kat and Lips Chat, or Pepsi Max Porcelain Mugs and Probably Mad. It's quite a few half decent titles. I've got this selection of keycaps and a keyboard that I spilled Pepsi on, um, that I'm also polishing out with a uh, paintbrush, because I was like, ah, what can I get the dust out of my keyboard with? A hat. And then I went and asked my dad if he had any compressed air. Um, and he was like, no, I don't have any compressed air, and I was like, well, yeah, I wasn't like, do you have compressed air? And he was like, no, but I have a paintbrush, the next best thing. Bloody hell, I'm hot, because I've closed the windows, because it's also raining, and I don't want my entire room to get wet, uh, with rain. Um, I'm fine with anything else, like, well, not anything else, I mean, like, bodily fluids, like, no, I didn't even mean, but, like, the bodily fluids that aren't piss or sweat. Semen. Look, all I'm saying, if you if you if you've got an orgy club, the Facebook group, the Facebook group, the mythologies, um, and you're looking for somewhere to have your next meeting, just saying, use this clip as proof that I'm content with it. The clip before puts it up to discussion, so I could like contest that maybe I didn't want it to happen to my dad when he's like, why, what is this? This is my house too, I shouldn't have to contend to your rave music and sex parties going on in your room. And I'm like, look, I didn't tell anyone I wanted this to happen. They misinterpreted my words. I was talking about rain. They were talking about everything else. Now it's the difficult part. The difficult part, of course, being the space bar. 
Because the space bar's like the enter key, but much harder, because it's much longer. A. Um, so it's like harder to like fit both sides in at once. Also, it's got this weird like guff on it, which I'm just gonna lick my finger and then like rub it. I've got like a full lap here. I'm having like this is like putting my feet in pain because like I will lower the camera to demonstrate my pained feet. Okay. So I've got all this stuff on my lap, right? And then I've got to like keep my feet here so that I like can like balance it on my lap. I guess I could like I guess I could like put my feet out like this. Now they're like I can't pick up the camera because like <laughs> This is more comfortable, but I feel like we're at more of a distance from each other, and um, I don't like that because I feel like recently, by recently I mean since two months ago, since that was the last time I made a proper video apparently, I feel like we've grown more distance, distance, dis, dis, distant, not distance, we haven't grown more distance, that doesn't even make any sense. We've grown more distance, you and I, Anna. And by Anna, I don't mean Anna, who I talk to every night still for like two hours. I mean Anna, the fake void personality that, that I speak to when I talk about these bits. Okay, here's a picture of regular Anna, and here's a picture of you, the Anna I talk to. As you can see, regular Anna just looks like a normal human being. It's void Anna is like very, very different. So um, in order to prevent us from feeling more distant than we already do, I'm just going to bring you in a little bit. Um, a, a little bit, little bit more. Oh, no, not that much. Not go, go back. Fuck off. Okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah, cool. We're we're good. I'm I'm cool with being at that distance from you. Um, okay, my space bar's finished polishing off. I finished it a while ago. I just wanted to finish that bit about like bringing you in closer. But then also the Anna bit, like half, it was a bit that went on for way too long. I had to just backwards. I put the bloody space bar on backwards. Hold on, let me fix this. Alright, I'm looking you in the eye while I fix it. Okay, now you can come in closer so I can look you in the eye fully. Alright? Right, look me in the eye. Well, don't look me in the eye. Like, look me in the face while I put the space... Because I can't look you in the eye while I put the space bar on because I've got to look down to do it. But I need you to look at my constant... I'm going to bite my lip so you can feel the concentration in me. So I just um, went over here to search a video on how to reinstall a spacebar on a keyboard because apparently I'm a pleb. Um, and then I realised that I've got a, I haven't got a keyboard to search. So um, Windows Accessibility Tools for uh, spacebar back on a keyboard. Black Widow Tournament Edition Spacebar Fit. That's the exact keyboard I have. This, this video should be perfect. If you've ever removed your spacebar on your Black Widow Chroma uh, Tournament Edition yep. and accidentally removed these two little black pieces, I'll show you how to fix it. Black, black pieces are so on these there. are the pieces I'm talking about. They're but little black they're rectangles. Black on rectangles the are already on. Okay, so spacebar done. Oh jeez, I'm getting wet somehow from this rain that's outside. Despite my wind, I know the one directly above, but I forgot about that one. I'm going to pick up a key, and then we're going to see if I can remember where the hell on the keyboard it goes. F9, so F1, 2, 3, J, no, no clue. The number 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, cut that. Cut, 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 cut. You and Harry are um, discussing something currently, Anna. I think it's, um, Game of Thrones, or maybe your undying love for each other. Um, I'm not fully sure. Um, probably a bit of both, to be honest, if, if I know either of you. You know what, I do know that shift goes here on the keyboard, although that might be left. Nope, that's the right shift. Okay. It's the right left shift. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, this is either W or E. I'm having some issues here. Escape. Please let me escape my life and run off into the countryside where I'd own a little farm. I'd have a little farm and on that little farm I would have 
um, a nice farm life with my um, with my many animals. I'd have a favourite animal, obviously, because he's got him. My favourite animal would be a pig that I call Jasper, and I go on adventures with her. Yes, her, because she's named after Jasper, um, the the gem, the homeworld gem from um, Steven Universe, that show that I watched and I'm obsessed with now. Um, so that's that's Jasper, and, I'd, and that would be my pig's name. Um, and every morning, I'd send my 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 child, who I would call uh, Confucius, my my Asian adopted baby, that I'd make grow a beard as soon as he possibly could and shave his head off, um, and I'd make him go milk the milk the. Not cows. We wouldn't milk cows. We're like a we're like we're a progressive farm. We don't we don't pin we don't pigeonhole animals into what society says they are. So the cows don't get milked. The cows get killed for their meat. Um, and instead, we we exclusively sell pig milk. I hear it's it tastes like cantaloupe juice. It's longer than usual this latest episode of Game of Thrones. It's been leaked. Committing crimes is what you're doing. Committing crimes is what you're doing. I, I acknowledge fully that this is probably the least entertaining George Bros classic, but it's 30 minutes long, it's got to be some gold. Six, well six goes next to five and next to seven. Oh no, this is also a, oh no, that's a nine. <laughs> Wait, no, what is this if that's not a five? Oh, it's an S. I did it again. I keep doing it. Right, computer being turned back on. Keyboard finish being constructed. Oh bloody hell. Let's let's hope this works and this hasn't been all for nothing. Windows loaded? Nope, not yet. It's loaded. Right, let's tilt turn you around. Tilt over here. It's a picture of me and Anna. Hold on, let me let me reevaluate the lighting. So it's a picture of me and Anna at Corsands, isn't that lovely? Um, unfortunately, we're not going to Corsands tomorrow because <laughs> Anna's a little bitch, and um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> I've plugged it into a different USB slot. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to end the video where it did before. But if it does work, it will be a moment of victory. You know, like in Lion's Tech Tips videos where he boots and then doesn't boot, and it's like, oh no, it's not going to boot. What's he going to do? What's, the, what's old Linus going to do? What's he going to How's he going to get out of this one? What's Linus going to do? And then it boots the second time, and it's like, oh, this was quite clearly orchestrated. Why did you edit it this way, Taran Van Harmer, you little chicken boy? No, it doesn't work. 